Judge, this is the case of Super Freak. Today, we have a case of two people, two kids, and to hear him tell it, a woman who wants way too much sex. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Jermaine Irvin and Kasha Bain. The two of you have been together for three years, and you have two children together, one, two, one, eight months old. You don't know if you're going to make it. Mr. Uh, Irvin, you are seeking $500 in costs you say you incurred as a function of her throwing you out of the house. But before we get there, Mr. Irvin, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why we're here today? Well... My fiance is a sex crave maniac. When I tell you all she thinks of is sex, 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 every day, all day. When she go to work, I believe she thinks about it too. You know, if I do not have sex, it's an argument, it's a fight. I gotta sleep on the couch. You know, I have to go sleep on the porch like Dino for them Flintstones. You know, like that's not cool. You know what I mean? It's not fair. You know? You don't put them out if you don't get any, do you? I need it, Your Honor. I'm young. <laughs> to be able to do it any time. You know, we have our own house. We're responsible adults. I don't see the problem. Like, you know, he's supposed to be able to give it to me when I'm ready, and I'm ready majority of the time. No, the majority, now, now Mr. Irvin, I, I'm not gonna cast any aspersions in your direction, but usually dudes never mind that. No, I, I don't mind it, it's just, like, it's consistent, and we also have kids, you know? So, like, the kids can pop like going up. On. Like, the kids can be literally in the living room, and she'll try to grab me by my arm, like, let's go. You know what I mean? Like, like <laughs> come on, wait a minute. Like, wait a minute. They right there. They can walk in the room, you know? Like, right. So, it's just not... It's not that I don't want to. It's just the fact that I have kids, and, you know? It's just out of respect of the... But my kids, really, you know? Like, one time, I went, we went and got dinner, and she asked me to give her oral sex when we get home. I'm like, okay, cool, I got you, you know what I mean? I got you. I got you, you. I'm, 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 I got you. don't worry about go. it. Don't I'm you even dude. need, yeah. I got you, girl, just give me. So, we get to the house, sit the food down, boom. I give her a little sampler, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Give her a little sampler <laughs> until I need to go eat my food before it get cold, because the microwave was broken at the time. You know what I mean? So I tell her, let me eat my food. And she tells me, oh, oh, your food is more important than doing what you have to do. Now, Ms. Bain, are you unreasonable with it? I mean, everybody has to have an opportunity to, uh, you I know, don't think, be I engaged don't... in something that's other than sex. I don't think I'm unreasonable. I think it helps me mentally, like, get through my day, get through my work day, um, deal with a lot of my issues, and it, it honestly helps me, and I... He just doesn't give it to me enough. Like, if he gave it to me maybe, like, two times back-to-back -back in the night, I would be like, okay, I don't need no more. <laughs> Until, like, you know, the next day or so. Your Honor, I have bad back problems. Like, I've been hit by an no. 18-wheeler. No. You know what I mean? So it's just like... Let me ask you this. Is it all about the sex, or is it in part about intimacy and time? I would say both. But even after sex. the sex... Even after the sex, I mean, he's like, okay, now I'm about to go do something else. So it's fine if you go do something else, as long as I'm okay. You know, as, I'm, as long as I can deal with the rest of my day without being frustrated or needed an outlet or release or anything. You can go about your day the rest of the day, handle your business, but you got to make sure I'm straight. Um, well, how long see, does it take to get you straight? Maybe about... <laughs> Three to four times a day. What? Like, now we started out with two, Miss Bain. You're look, getting greedy. She, she, she don't kid, care. I told you. If the kids are settled in a way, and as long as the kids are good, then I don't see why not. Your Honor, that's four hours. It's like an hour each time. Like that's the shift of a part-time job. You know? Right. <laughs> like, I, like, I don't know. Like, I, like I said, I have really bad back problems. So it's like. Like, hold on now, let's just take a break, let's get some water or something, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> let's let's grab the Bible or something or to talk. Something. Like, it's, just, it's just like the simple fact that it doesn't matter where we at, like... Yeah. Well, tell me some we stories. At, like, I, I know you got church. some stories about the uh, babysitter, <laughs> shopping. Tell me some stories. So, one time we did get a family member to say, I'll watch your children, you know, so y'all guys can have a date night and get out. So I get dressed in the shower, get dressed nice, smelling good, and I come out the bedroom and tell him, like, honey, I'm ready to go. 
And he's literally walking out the door saying, I'll be back. And I'm like, where are you going? Like, we, we had plans. He's like, well, I'm just going to run up and check up on my friends right quick. I'll be back. Wrong. Wrong answer. It, it, well, well, where was he going and how long did he stay? He stays with his friends for about two hours, just hanging out outside, wherever they are. And then he'll come back. And it's like... You need to be here with me, and we need to be spending time oh, together. The man that's was just, probably tired trying to get some rest. Yeah, that's because she wanted to keep having sex. She wanted me home so we could have sex all day. Like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm actually a little bit older than her. I'm not going to say how much older, but I'm a little bit older than her, you know? Like, And she consistently wants it. Like, consistently wants it, consistently wants it. Like, no, like, like the other day, uh-huh. I went to the store, and this woman wanted to have sex at a convenience store, like, like she don't care where we at. If she, like she said, if she oh, needed. Oh, you weren't needed... trying to do it at the store. No, I it? probably was trying to get a little frisky, but not do it at the store. And frisky means doing it. No, you know, like, no. That's what frisky means. No. Frisky means doing it. I think I kind of got the idea there. You also say that the house is a mess, that she doesn't keep it clean. Tell me, tell me some stories about that. True indeed, she does have a job. True indeed, you know she mm-hmm. works hard. I can't take that from her. I'm a stay-at-home dad, and I also do, like, mechanic work on the side. I cut hair, cut grass, whatever I can do to make an extra dollar to make sure that our household is maintained. So, I was... I, she'll take her clothes, throw them in the bathroom floor. We share separate bathrooms. We have separate bathrooms. she throw her clothes on the floor. Separate bathrooms. I know you... you, you, you. I have a it's huge bathroom. It's important to marriage. <laughs> Separate bathroom. Separate bathroom. Yeah. If you, if, if you can afford it, do it. Copy. Yeah. It cuts down on a whole lot of arguments. Yeah, but anyway, I won't go ahead. Pick, I won't have to pick up granny panties off the ground. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, that's what it is. Literally, she wants me to clean her, the room, the bathroom. Like, that, that's not my responsibility. If you stay at home, if you a stay at home dad. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. If, if you, you a stay at home dad, why is that her responsibility? Now I have to clean the dishes. I understand that. You should clean the dishes. I, 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 if she's working all day, understand. and she's coming home and taking care of the kids, and she's making dinner, that's your gig. So you're just saying pick up after yourself, up after not yourself. necessarily you won't clean the yeah, house. Yeah, just pick up, but after, pick yourself. up after yourself. Like, Pick up after Bay, do you pick up after yourself? Yes, I do pick up after myself. I do work long and hard. So when I get home, I deal with my kids. And sometimes I'm tired and I don't clean up until maybe two days later. No, but no, 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 part, no, no. When no, you no, say no. clean up, what does that mean till two days later? What? Like, what? straighten up. Things may be disarrayed. Like, when I get home from work, I take off my uniform, I just leave it on the floor, and I'll get in the bed. Or if my daughter uh, needs her clothes changed, I'll just take her clothes off right there and just leave it there and keep on going about what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. And then once it's like, okay, I can't see my floor, now I'm about to clean up my house. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't take that long. Like, I, I, I actually clean up the house. Like, you know, mm-hmm. a toddler, they're going to dirty the house, of course. Right, right, you know, right. I'm, so I'm not going to get upset about that. But right. when you're grown, when we're together, like, hey, look, Look, this is your mess. Like, mm-hmm. she cooks and leave the dishes there. Boom. Now I have to clean the dishes. I understand that. You should I clean the dishes. I, 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 if she's working all day, understand. and she's coming home and taking care of the kids, and she's making dinner, that's your gig. No, it's not her cooking dinner. It's be, so, that's just like on a weekend or something like that. If she's not working or something like that, like, she'll cook, like, breakfast. And it'd be, like, eggs stuck to the bottom of the pan. Like, you know, now we got a clogged-up dishwasher. You know what I mean? Like, because she got eggs all around there. Or she got spaghetti noodles in the sink or something like that. You know, like, that's unfair to me. Truly, I should be able to do the dishes, right? I will do the dishes. Like, that's nothing... That's no, not that's a problem. No, that's a problem That's not him. a problem. That's think, a problem. But when I don't destroy it like that, like, she destroyed it, the dishes be sitting there for two or three days. Now they got the stuck... They're sitting phone. there two or three days because you didn't do Ooh, it. Exactly. She's working every day. Exactly. And you at home. You can do the dishes while you at home. True I don't want to hear it. True indeed. I, I, True that's indeed. right. Because uh, when, I, when I get the time and I'm home with my kids, I can clean my whole house with my children awake with a toddler and an infant. I can clean my whole house. I'll put one in the walker, put one in the playpen, and just go for it. Put some music on it and go for it. So if I can do it, he can do it. Right. You say she's just disrespectful. She is. That no matter where you are or what you're doing, she can just be disrespectful. Give me a couple of stories. My homeboy, he has this firework tent, the TNT tent. Like, whenever, like, 4th of July comes around, I go out there and work for him. I asked Kasha to come on out there with me to 
You know what I mean? Just sell some fireworks and, you know, relax, chill out. There's some time we can spend with each other since we have the kids. There's right. some time we can spend with each other. Right. She gets out there, she gets out there, she gets out there, and we chilling, we chilling, we... And next thing you know, like, I tell her to go home because I don't want the kids out this late. It's 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning, you know what I mean? Now, we can send the kids home now. I send you home, you can go home with... No, why the if I gotta leave and this and the third, blah, 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 she take, start taking stuff, throwing it in the middle of Walmart parking lot, you a dead, be dead, and this and the third, blah, blah, blah. Hey, I spend f at least 14 to 12, 12 to 14 hours a day with my kids. You know what I mean? Like, a day. You know what I mean? Like, do you do that? What he didn't mention was before I went out with him that night, we went to another city, Winston-Salem, and we spent the night out there at the TNT tent. And, you know, I did that for him. I didn't have to go out there and support him doing right. his job. I went out there with my children, and we just supported him. She did it because him. she thought she was going to have on, sex but... afterwards. So, <laughs> so the time he's talking about was uh, the next time when we were supposed to spend the night with him at his job. And I was tired. The kids was frustrated. It was hot. And so we, it did lead to an argument, but I wasn't being disrespectful. I was matching did you energy. Did you throw all that stuff? <laughs> around and carry I, on I like that? I didn't throw anything, but I did name a few names huh. and, you know, tell him what he could do better. Yeah. Um, but... Were your kids there? Yes. Yeah. Was there you people know, in you the know, you know, the, you, you know, all of the crazy that you create is teaching your children to create crazy. Mm -hmm. You can't tell your children to be responsible adults and be irresponsible in front of them. There's nothing, there was nothing that bad going on that said, like, I'm annoyed with you. This is a problem and that's a problem. Heightened voices and, and throwing stuff ain't never the way to go. You with me on that yes. one? Don't be nodding your head like you know what I'm talking about. You're over there calling her a whore. There's no reason to call the mother of your, your children a whore. You say the reason you yell is because he only listens when you get. Yes. Explain that to me. Give me some stories. So when we first got together, um, I had just left my house. So I wasn't like cooking and cleaning for men. I was just doing for myself. Um, and when we moved together, he was like, he, it was a big argument. He was like, you have to cook, you have to clean, you have to do this. And he cursed me out and said he was so disappointed. And this was in, like between months of us like living together. And I'm confused because the way he was talking to me sounded like he hated me. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it's, I didn't think it was that deep. Were you working then? No, I was a full-time student. You were a full-time student. Verbally abusive. What does... What, give me an example of the kinds of things he says to you and in what circumstances. So, um, one example, he, we was with the family. We had got something to eat. We was on our way back home. And this girl flagged him down, like, riding home. And she was like, um, hey, can you fi look under my car? I think I hit a, a dog or a squirrel or something. So he stops the car, get out the car, lays down on the ground, looks under her car, um, converses with her, and then drops me and the family back off and goes back to help her. And once he gets back from helping her, I'm like, hey, why do you have women flagging you down? And... He was like, I'm just trying to make money and this, that, and the third. It's, and he goes off. Oh, I can't. Was he paying? Was she paying? Yes, ma'am. Did yes, she pay him? No. Yes, because the car wasn't fixable. That's the only reason why I didn't get paid, because the car was not fixable. That's So you looked me. and said, boy, yeah. can't fix it. Right. It, yeah. it, only, it literally only took me, like, our house is from here to where you're at. You feel me? Like, to where the, I went mm, to fix right. the car. Like, right. she can literally sit there and watch and see what I'm doing. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Like, yeah. you can just stand right there and so watch. So what did he was, say uh, to you that was, that was so out of pocket? He was like, you stopping me from making money and I don't stop you from making money and, and the name calling, the whores and stuff like that. Can I say this on behalf of Rational? There's nothing that you two have told me in here that you have argued about that is worth raising your voice about and certainly name calling. There's no need for it. I agree. So nobody know how to have a conversation anymore. A conversation is, I didn't like what you did, for the following reasons. This is what I... Don't be nodding your head like you know what I'm talking about. You're <laughs> over there calling her a whore. There's no reason to call the mother of your, your, your children a whore. True. None. That's true. Everybody's responsible for what comes out of their mouth. You are not a rubber band. You did not snap. You are not a machine. You have no buttons. You're just a person who did or did not control their temper. That's it, and that's all. Mm -hmm. Right. Tell me about that $500. Uh -uh. Okay. Let's start off. Me and her got the, about the dishes. We got into an argument about the dishes, and this and the third. And the, from the dishes, it led to 
oh, you can get out my house, this, that, and the third. And this was like the eighth, ninth time. She keeps telling me to get out her house because my name is not on the lease, uh -huh. you feel me? But I do help her pay the bills. So, you know, like, hey, like, she tell me, get out my house, get out my house, your name ain't on nothing, get out my house. So you want me to tell you what? I said, I'm tired of it. I packed all my stuff up in my little car and went up to the gas station. I ain't gonna lie, I smoked a little weed. So I was smoking weed, <laughs> you feel me? Like, I was smoking weed in my car and the police pulled up and then they locked me up and I had to bail out for $500 because I was smoking weed in my car. You know? So you think she should pay you the $500 in bail money because you got caught a half, half or something? Or something, like, come on, look. She, Why did you, you throw she told, out? She told me she can pay me in sex. <laughs> <laughs> that you don't want. No, yeah, yeah. I do want, but not for not all for not that much. Miss Bain, tell me why you threw him out. Why was it necessary to evict him? I didn't evict him. I gave him an opportunity because I feel to like... To run? <laughs> I feel like if I'm working and I'm coming home paying these bills, if I'm working, I'm coming home taking care of the kids and I got to clean, I can't get a clean kitchen, I can't get sex when I want it. What are you there you, for? You have an opportunity to wash these dishes or you can leave. Let me say this, you guys got two children together. I think you can make it work. I don't think this is a, a, is a relationship endable issues. What I am gonna ask you is to do a couple of things. You have to remove yourself from that 1950s image of what a household should look like. If she's doing the 1950 dude part by making the money, you need to do the 1950s woman part. It doesn't make you any less of a man. It is not any less of your job. Everybody's got to contribute. You also have to, if you wanna be a dude, and dudes are always talking about they wanna be the leader in your home, what you have to lead with is rationality. Don't ever call her out of her name. Yeah. Never. Your, your job is to provide and protect. You ain't providing, at least protect. Right. Don't meet his energy with more of his energy. You, you're meeting bad with more bad, and your children are chewing up all of that. What you need to do is meet his energy with calm. You say what you need to say, you do what you need to do. So if you wanna act a fool, continue. I will be in another room. Yeah. That's how you level up, and sooner or later, he'll catch up. Mm -hmm. But we're better at it, because we're emotionally more... Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Yeah. yeah. You're good people. Just be better at being rational people. You with me? Yes, there will be no... You can't, you can't, you know... She threw you out the house. She did not make you smoke that joint in the car. So she doesn't owe you $500. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so ordered. Did she get through to you guys today? I believe she did. Like, you know, it's some things, some things we say and we don't really mean it, but at the time we just said it, you know? Like, I think that did really hit home, especially when she said that my kids are gonna be grabbing most yeah, of it. Right. And I don't wanna raise children like that. Judge, today's case is Family Guy. I've got one broken girl, one confused guy, and one gorgeous baby. Let's see if we can make something work here. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Jasmine Wright and Darren McFadden. The two of you have been together for two years and you have one child together. Ms. Wright, you are suing Mr. McFadden for some money or the replacement of some furniture. You say he broke, but we will talk about that momentarily. Ms. Wright, I'm gonna start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you're here in divorce court today? Yes, ma'am. Um, I'm here in divorce court today because... Oh my. Take your time. <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 you take your time. 
Thank you. I'm here because I'm tired of the father of my child. Um, he likes to play house with me a lot, but then whenever he's in the streets, <laughs> that's when he wants to act like he's single. I'm gonna let Mr. McFadden speak while. Do you know what she's talking about over there? That you play in house, but you you behaving as if you're single in the streets? Um, I don't know what she's talking about, considering the fact that I told her from the day we met that I, I didn't really do relationships. So, yeah, on day one, we had a discussion about the whole title thing. I don't believe in titles, boyfriend, girlfriend. There's only one thing that matters to he me. He doesn't believe in titles. And that's hey, husband and here. wife. What, what? If you're not husband and wife, then when people come to me with, oh, this and that, uh, like I said, I'm not married right now. So I have respect for the mother of my child. But when it comes to an obligation to fulfill a certain matters of me and myself on how I move outside of our relationship that she considers we're boyfriend and girlfriend, like I said, I consider her the mother of my child and someone that's a part of my family that my obligation is to make sure she's well taken care of and my daughter. Outside of that, I don't see any boundaries as far as me having to be, come home and play husband, come home and, oh, honey, how was your day? No, I come home and here's the money, the bills are paid, and how's you're, our daughter doing? Do you need anything? Your if I can. Ms. Ms. Wright? He says that, but yet he expects me to do these wifely duties for him, but he loves to claim like, oh, we're not married, but yet he's telling me like, oh, I love you, you're who I wanna be with, like, I don't care about all these other women, I wanna make it work with you. He calls me, you're my queen, you're my wife. So for him to say that, he's kinda like, he likes to really lead me on is what I feel. Right, like. right, right, right. He's telling you one thing. But he, yeah, he makes a bold statement about he's free, but everything he says and does after that is 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 leading you to believe that there is an exclusive relationship there. Yes, exactly. Mr. McFadden, do you have a response to that? I got a couple responses to that. <laughs> I mean, if we can get to the nitty gritty, let's like we're on here. She's saying, because I want to do certain things that I want to do. Well, let's talk about how Darren has to <laughs> into a sock. If I wasn't laying on the couch, See, oh, let me tell oh, you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. We, wouldn't have, we wouldn't have issues with why Darren's going to find something but elsewhere. But no, Your Honor, there's times where. That you caught me no, on the couch no, doing there, what I was doing. No, no, and what I'm happened talking after? To, I'm talking to her. Your Honor, there's <laughs> times where literally we will just, just have sex, and a few minutes later, Back in that phone, texting other females, oh, I missed you, or hey, baby, hey, this. So it's like, if we just had sex, why? Like, he loves to use that as an excuse. No, Darren's doing that because that's what Darren wants to do. It has nothing to do with how many times we're having sex. He's doing that because that's what he wants Wrong. to do. Wrong. Well, Mr. McFadden, I mean, no, 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 let me, let, let so me just say, Mr. McFadden, don't. Oh, hey, uh-uh, not while crazy. I'm talking. Not while I'm talking. Mr. McFadden, stand up. <laughs> Act like you got some sense. You just told me that you move as a single man because that is your decision. And now you're backing it up with, well, I'm only doing it because I don't get enough sex at home. Both things cannot be true. Thank you. So either you're moving as a single person because you are not married and you believe as a single person you have the right to do that, or you have committed yourself to her and would be committed to her if you were getting enough sex. Which one is true it's and which both. one is not? I mean, I wouldn't have an issue with committing, like, but I'm not ready, is the See, one thing. The and thing I've always said say, that. No. Every time we get into it, I specifically say jazz. He's we're better not ready, off co-parenting no. and being friends That's until true. I'm ready for that step. But for right now, I'm working. I'm the only one working. So I'm sorry that I go to work for two jobs sometimes, 15 hours a day, come home, and then all I ask her sometimes is to clean the house. We talking about everything Darren does, but she can't clean a simple room. How long has the room upstairs been dirty? And your excuse is, you, oh, Bella, really? Bella this, Bella that, it's so hard. It's not that hard to take care he of said, one child. He says that, but let him, he can't kids. even watch Bella for five minutes without, Jazz, please come take her. I don't know what to do. She's crying, da, da, da. So he loves to throw that in my face. Oh, why aren't you cleaning? But it's the same way. If I leave and I come back and the house is a mess, it's the exact same way. And he's like, oh, well, you know, I had Bella. So it's okay for him to use that excuse as a baby. <laughs> When's the but last time I watched Bella? Let's be I'm honest. I'm Except for when you go somewhere. 
I'm talking to the so you so you don't like, watch come her? on man you don't hey, watch my daughter on sim on but certain things like okay he say Jazz, the baby hang on hang on say Jazz says okay because right now like I said she's not working so I'm the main provider like I'm having to make sure everything's good I get it so I've been saying all right Jazz I need a little bit more help like try to find a job granted she's went out and started trying to do job interviews sometimes when she goes to the interview I watch Bella. My job One is time. not to sit home, watch Bella, and go around and do this, do this, do that. I'm watching my daughter to, so we can, because we're a team, not because I feel like, oh, I'm obligated. Like, it's my daughter. I'm supposed to watch my daughter. Your Honor, right. can I, give I get you, that. Can I, uh -huh. But she tries to make it seem like I don't get that and I don't Can I give an example? I love that he give just said. Is that Bella? Yeah. That's oh, most gorgeous kid ever. <laughs> Thank you. You getting it once a month. See, but he that, always I'm going to do what I want to do, and I'm going to stand on that. If I'm only getting it once a month, I'm going to do what but I want to do. It's like, why would I want to have sex with somebody that's constantly out here sleeping with other women? That doesn't make me want to have sex with you. There was an instance that happened. His mom asked if I could go out of town with her. And I really didn't want to go because... Take your time. I don't trust him. And it's his family that I've never met before. <laughs> but I decided, you know, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just, I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna go ahead and go with his mom out of town. And come to find out, I get back home. This man, he didn't had another woman in our house. He says that Bella is his niece and I'm his sister and we're just staying there with him. Mr. McFadden, is that accurate? Um, yeah, I'll That's go ahead and stand yes, on that truth yeah. for sure. Yeah, I'll go ahead and stand on that one. I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, for me, I'm gonna... I, I don't know how much I can stress this. Like, if you getting it once a month, See, but he that, always uses I'm going to do what I want to do. And I'm going to stand on that. If I'm only getting it once a month, I'm going to do what but I want to do. It's like, why would I want to have sex with somebody that's constantly out here sleeping with other women? That doesn't make me want to have sex with you. Mm -hmm. And we right. you, You're talking out of both sides of your mouth with that, Mr. McFadden. You, you, you first stated as a, as a matter of principle that you are not married and hence you do not have to remain faithful. And then you say her, your unfaithfulness is now really contingent upon her inability to provide you with both It's not contingent upon sex. what I'm saying is it plays a part in it. It would allow me to be like, oh, okay, well, it, it's just But your thinking. philosophy just... would allow you to cheat anyway. Right? He wants to Whether or not you're getting enough sex, your philosophy allows everybody that. Everybody in this room has a different view on cheating. Again, we're focused on boyfriend, girlfriend. I don't see that. I'm not, no I never mentioned the word so, boyfriend or well, girlfriend. Well, when we say cheating, then how's that possible? If we're I married? didn't say cheating. I'm saying your philosophy about commitment. That's what I said, and that's what I'm My talking about. My philosophy about. about commitment is simple. I'm not going to commit to somebody unless See, then I'm why won't one he tell getting, me that? unless we're cohesively existent together, and we're not doing that. We we're can't do that because all he does is cheat. But when it comes cheat. to the other stuff, we're not good at that. Mm -hmm. Like, she always says, oh, you can't do this. But my mom has offered to give her a whole car, OK? Jazz doesn't have her license right now. She's got a permit. But my mom has offered to give her a whole car. Right. Have you went and got your license yet? Have we went and met, have you, like, it's, with See, her, what, she, but I, here's what I Here's what I hear Mr. McFadden saying. He's saying that you're not actively participating in your own betterment. He says. He's saying that, you know, listen, I'm trying to, you know, if it, if the situation was a little better, you know, we're trying to give you a car, we're trying to in, in, engage you in our family, my mother's taking you places, and, you know, you're not engaging in that. So he's not... But it's like, how can I... He, Darren expects me to do my 50%. And he's not doing his 50%. Darren wants me to do all, reach all his requirements, all his expectations. Give me a list of his requirements. That might help us all Okay. Out. The minute Bella starts crying, hands are back off to me, and he's gone. He's out to do whatever he wants to do. And it's just, I don't feel like it's fair to me at all. Darren, he wants me to be 
uh, stay at home mom, make sure I'm cleaning. I'm cooking. I'm doing and laundry. That's wrong right there already because I could well, use some a chance he, he to reply. Even let let me... her finish and you will get an opportunity to reply. Stay at home mom, cleaning, cooking, all the wifely duties. Yes, he wants me to do all those things for him. And it's like, you're not doing your part, but you want me to do my part. You want me to play your wife role, but you're like, hold on, you're not my wife. You're not my girlfriend. You're just the mother of my child. I don't feel that I have to do all those things if, like he says, I'm not his girlfriend. I'm not your wife. So why do I have to do all these things okay. for you? Is she is she mistaken in saying that you are expecting those things from Very her? Very mistaken. I don't expect nothing from Jazz except for her to be the best that she can be for our daughter. Well, you already complained that the room wasn't clean. See, thank because you. that's Jazz. another like that's that's sim that's <laughs> not me saying that I have like okay. The point of the matter is it's real simple like. I told her that I would handle the bills because, granted, her job wouldn't give her maternity leave. So I stood firm and said, you know what? Stay home. I got this for a bit. Right. But I do need your help eventually. What I say is, Jazz, help me out, please. Like, And it could be simple, like I told her. I don't care if you get a simple little weekend job working five, six hours. That's cool. Just handle Just one day. Just something. And that's what stresses now, me now, out. Now, Ms. Wright, now, let me ask you something. He's paying all the bills. Right. You're at home with the baby. Is it unreasonable to expect that those things be done because he is supporting you financially? It's not unreasonable, and it's not that I don't want to work or I don't want to get back in school. It's always restrictions with him that makes me limit what I can and can't do. Do you it's hear what she's saying with that? Look, I get what she's saying, but look, she breastfeeds. Our daughter is 10 months, right? I'm not the smartest dad in the world by far, but I do know that a breastfed child needs to feed more often than a bottle-fed child. He just doesn't want to watch Bella because Bella gets cranky. So that's his excuse to go out and do whatever he wants. Like, Darren, Darren, he can just leave and do whatever he wants to do. And it's not fair to me, like, Whatever I want to do, it's always like, oh, I got to worry about Bella. I got to wait till Bella's straight. When he wants to go out, cheat. If he has to go to work, whatever Darren wants to do, boom, he can get up and go. The minute Bella starts crying, hands are back off to me, and he's gone. He's out to do whatever he wants to do. And it's just, I don't feel like it's fair to me at all. I think I know what's up. I think I know what's up, but I would like to see Bella first. What's up? If she starts to cry, I'm never speaking to you again. Hi, Bella. How are you, beautiful? Aren't you? Oh. This is a hard truth, Mr. McFadden. No matter what your uh, philosophical bent is. Uh-oh, you want mama back. You want mama? I give you the mama. I will. Is that what you want? I'm in heels. I ain't walking with this baby in heels. <laughs> okay, come here, brother. Oh, so sweet. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Whatever your philosophy is, she will live what she sees. And if she sees an intermittent father who has a broken mother, that's what she's going to end up being. You're going to watch her w hold her own baby in her arms and have some dude who comes in and says, I make the money, you're not giving me quite enough sex, I'm going to run around when I want to, the house isn't clean. And, 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 and the reason that she's broken like that is she feels like nothing. And so you'll teach your daughter to get nothing from a dude because that's what you're giving her mother. Now, you can be a man who does the right thing. Now, if you are not about her, if you don't want to love her and be with her, I can't make you do that. And you can't be made to love somebody you don't love. But don't confuse her. Don't have sex with her. Don't tell her, Thank if you. I got more sex, I would do better. Thank Don't you. come and do, do the wife thing better. Do that and say, hey, I'm just going to co-parent with you. I don't no, want her to I, do Mr. nothing Mr. McFadden, but that. I am still talking. But that's what I She's said. She's still, I'm I am still talking. That. Are you still sleeping with her? 
No. You're, you're complaining about When's the last time sex? I got some? Almost a month ago. But if you could get some, you would. I don't care you for that. Yeah. I want her to go Mr. out and McFadden. get in school and do a, get a good job Mr. and McFadden. take care and help. Like, she still believes there's an opportunity with belief. you. No, 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 no. You that. feed but it see? because you in here talking about not getting enough sex, and that's the only thing that's keeping you going out with other women. You said that. That ain't keeping me. Keeping you cheating on her. That's what you said. That's what you said. So you can't tell me that you're not enticing her with a, an emotional relationship with you. You can't tell me that because you just told me something different. And I'm telling you, if you want to be a right guy, you got to be real strong on a woman that you're not with. You, no sex, no nothing like it, no pretending like it, no nothing close to it. Because we'll take any little breath of maybe that you give us and we'll run with it to a story of love and happily ever after. If that's not what you can provide, you've got to make sure not to only distance yourself when it's convenient, but do it when it's inconvenient as well. Now, Ms. Wright, let me say this to you. First of all, don't have no more babies. Oh, I'm not. I'm done. You understand done. <laughs> that? No more babies. Number two, don't ever beg a man to love you. Never, ever beg a man to love you. <laughs> Once he says he can do as he pleases, he does so, but he does so without any sex or love from you. Yeah. He hasn't earned your love. He hasn't earned your body. So don't give it to him. Always be a grown woman about this thing. And if he's walking down the street tomorrow with 19 naked women, <laughs> what you ought to do is say, hey, brother, how you doing? And keep it moving. Because it's no longer of importance to you. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. You're looking for a $300, $150 for some lamps? Yes. That I paid for. Let's point that out. And you broke them? Yes, he broke them. <laughs> so now you got no lamps in the house, brother? <laughs> I mean, we short a couple lamps. You short a couple lamps? Well, you give $150 and buy some more lamps, and it is ordered. Good luck to both of you. After hearing what Judge Lynn had to say today, do you think you can finally find that courage to move on? Yeah, I think he showed his true colors today and that I finally see what the judge was talking about. I'm done. Very great friends, co-parents. That's all I ever want is just us to mesh together, take care of our daughter, and do great things in life. Judge, this is the case of Can't Buy Love. We've got a successful businessman, a beautiful wife, expensive presents, but still something's missing. Let's figure out what it is. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Shamara McCormick and Benny McCormick, Mr. and Mrs. McCormick. You have been together for six years, married for the last nine months. There is trouble in paradise already. Uh, Mrs. McCormick, you want $3,000 from Mr. McCormick uh, to help start your own business, and we'll talk about that momentarily. But before we do, Mrs. M uh, McCormick, let me start with you. Tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here in divorce court today. I love my husband, mm. but he should have married a gold digger because he tries to buy my love. He buys expensive gifts. He's bought me some red bottoms. He bought me a Mercedes. Uh, he bought me a motorcycle. Um, you like motorcycles? I do. I like okay, motorcycles. Okay, all right. I, have I was going to say, she didn't like motorcycles. <laughs> we were in trouble. I have some pictures of the things he's, he's bought me. That's oh, okay. the motorcycle. That's, that's the new motorcycle. That's a beautiful bike. <laughs> And that's the Benz. That's the Benz. Oh, nice. So, and your complaint is? <laughs> My complaint is, he buys me all these lavish gifts, but he doesn't give me himself. Um, for instance, for my birthday this year, 
I specifically told him two months in advance that for my birthday, I wanted to take a trip to Miami and then go to the Bahamas from there. Okay. He said, okay. A couple of weeks later, he calls me and said a buddy of his was going to Las Vegas and he asked, did I want to go? I said, okay, well, when is it? He said, it's two weeks before my birthday. I said, um, I feel like that's cutting it too close. Two big trips in two weeks sounds a little much. But he said, um, we could do it. I said, okay, cool. We go to Las Vegas, five-star uh, hotel, wonderful five-star restaurants, mm -hmm. everything. Everything's Spending money great. left and right. Mm -hmm. um, we come back. I, I reminded him, I better have my birthday trip. Okay? He said, okay. My birthday gets here. I done packed a whole bag. We're driving to the airport. He passes the exit to the airport. I'm like, where are you going? And he says, um, well, we're going to take another route. There's no other route to the airport. Is what I'm like. <laughs> and you just passed it up. So where are we going? He says, uh, well, he just says, just wait and see. So we, he exits and we go to a motorcycle shop. And he says, come in. So I go in and he had already purchased a new motorcycle. He put down eight grand um, for a new motorcycle. I don't want to take away from the grandness of the gift because right. it was a wonderful gift. And I had been talking about wanting another motorcycle. But I specifically said that I wanted the trip because we weren't connecting. Right. Um, and so it was a way for us to spend some quality time together to reconnect. Mr. Mr. McCormick, now, respond to that. I mean, you seem to be a good guy. You seem to be buying her things. But she says she wants more, less of your money and more of you. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. But see, I run a medical imaging company. That right. That requires a lot of my time. When uh -huh. I met her, she was working in juvenile probation. Right. And I retired her. Right. I mean, wouldn't you want your man to retire you, Your Honor? No. No? <laughs> But, I, you know, my life, you know, my work, it requires a lot of my time. Mm -hmm. um, she, you know, just for instance, I get called out at 9 p.m. I tell her, hey, I got to go to the hospital. Right. She gets the attitude, gets mad. Uh, he get mad but, if he has to get up and t handle an emergency? Your, That's what he does. Your Honor, he gets called out at 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I really don't have an issue with that sometimes, but it's all the time, and I get no quality time. Mm -hmm. None. Well, so what you would like him to do when he gets a call four in the morning, doctor got a problem and a patient and his machine ain't working, you're going to say, no, nah, man, let him die. I'm going to lay here with no. my wife. <laughs> no, that's not the case. But the problem is, for instance, um, so he goes to work. Like I said, he gets up at maybe three or four o'clock in the morning. He's gone till seven, eight, nine o'clock, sometimes 10, 11 at night. So he comes home. We have small kids. So, you know, we got to do the parent thing. By the time they're going to sleep, He's going to sleep, so when I'm trying to, you know, right. school get child, something started, you know, yeah. he's falling asleep on me. Right, right. M Mr. McCormick, I'm going to address all that okay. in a minute, but I want you to specifically address the issue about the trip to Miami. You made time for your friend's trip. When it came to your wife, you bought a motorcycle instead of exactly what she wanted, which was time with you. Can you explain? Can you, can you logic me through that one? Basically, basically what I did, Your Honor, I did some research prior to her birthday. I asked her father, you know, a sister, hey, you know, do she want this trip to Miami or would she want a motorcycle? Because she's been talking about a motorcycle all year long. You know, she said, I can't, I can't buy anything unless she gets a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, maybe if I get a motorcycle, okay. things will get a little bit better. Because she's been... Did she a, tell you exactly what she wanted? Well, she, she did mention that she wanted to go Miami with me so we could spend some time. But when I did the tow, I asked her sister, you know, does she really want this motorcycle? She was like, yeah, I think You know, she... women are grown. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't need to... A woman tells you something, then you don't have to go around to ask the people around her if she really meant what she said. She meant yeah. what she said. Yeah. So... I mean, I was on your side for the other yeah, stuff. Okay. That yeah, one yeah, you're blue. Yeah, yeah. That one you're blue. What do you think the problem is between the two of you? Her attitude. Give me, uh, give me an example. Her attitude gets out of control. Like one night, I came home from spending time with a friend. Um, I wake up. She has a bat in my face because she went through my phone. She has a what? A bat. A baseball bat. A bat. A bat. A wooden baseball bat. So I wake up with this bat in my face. She said, "Oh, you're messing with your employee." There, you know, I was like, you're going to the gym with your employee. But I'm like, it was all the employees. The hospital <laughs> gave us passes so that we can go to the gym together. And I asked her if she wanted to go to the gym. She took that all out of context, you know, swung the bat at me, put a hole in the wall. And we have a picture of that hole in the wall. <laughs> you swung a bat at your man? Mm. 
I wasn't going to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> I hit the wall. I had had enough. If you poke the bees long enough, the bees gonna wake up. And at this point, I had had enough, and I woke him up with the bat in his face, and I'm like, you got, you got to go, because I'm done with this. Were you talking to other women on those cell phones? It was business-related to work. It's Everything okay. is always business-related. No, it's not. There's trust issues, okay? Right. And so this wasn't the first time. We ain't gonna time. forget about the bat, but go ahead. <laughs> Let's speak on the bat real quick. This was after so many other instances um, where I had had enough. If you poke the bees long enough, the bees gonna wake up. And at this point, I had had enough, and I woke him up with the bat in his face, and I'm like, you got, you got to go, because I'm done with this. Um, the trust issues originally started, I got pregnant in 2016, and we moved in together. We had a wonderful relationship. Um, communication was wonderful. I was glowing. It was wonderful. But I started to pay attention to certain things. He had his phone glued to his hip. And so my spider, my spider senses went up. Um, and one day I was cleaning up the house. I was going, I was cleaning under the bathroom sinks and I found a small bag with cell phones in it. We had just recently purchased new cell phones. Um, so I opened the bag and I'm like, okay, so here's the old cell phone. Here's my chance. So I open the phone and I'm going through it. Lo and behold, he had been talking to a couple of other women while I was laid up on bed rest. I was on bed rest for five months, in and out the hospital. And he was convert conversating with other women. Um, one of them, actually, they were talking about meeting up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meeting up, text, not a, you can't put your bat in your hand. That's, you, you're, you're a slip away from, from killing the brother and going, you know what I mean? You have to handle things like a mature woman. You don't want him no more, walk out. Don't, Your Honor, that was the first the instance. That was just the first no. instance. I don't care if it was a million <laughs> instances. No bats in the hands, Mr. McCormick. Were you talking to other women on those cell phones? I was conversing with them, but I wasn't, you know, it was wrong in the sense, but I wasn't conversing them out of context. And she will even admit to that. I was not conversing with them out of context. True, true I should have cut the communication off. But I was not, because she reacted. Well, what, 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 what kind of things were being said? Um, basically, the one we were planning on meeting, she was actually, it was business related, because she was looking into doing something with social work. It's Everything so, is always business related. But, if, if he gets caught to, talking to any woman, oh, this is business related. Oh, it's for a business. Oh, it's for a business. No, it's not. Have, but, you, did, have you been doing any inappropriate things? No, I haven't, Your Honor. Not a one. Not one. Yes, but she's he, like the CIA. She go, she hacks into all my I social do. media. Every, she, she missed up calling. She should have really worked for the but, CIA. But see, now like, <laughs> she knows what, about, what I have for budget. Having hacked into all of his stuff, give me the most damning piece of evidence that you have. Um, so I'm picking up my kids from school one day, and I get a phone call from him saying that he's in jail. He's in custody. Um... I asked what was going on. He couldn't tell me at the time because he was in custody. So I go home, I put on my, my FBI hat, and I have to find out what's going on. So I found all the information, and it was with this young lady who was stating that he stole her car um, and went and burnt it up. But the kicker is, I'm looking at the information and her address is on the paperwork, and I'm like, I know this street. So I Google the street, it's the street directly where we live. Yeah. That sounds like woman scorn stuff See? to me. It does not sound like business right. all bad. <laughs> Did you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it does look odd, and I know you, 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 you're tiptoeing around that one. <laughs> Everybody got Fifth Amendment rights. <laughs> So at midnight, I, I went and knocked on the girl's door because I need to understand right? <laughs> why my dude is in jail. And what did she say? Going on. She, didn't an, she didn't answer the door. Smart I, move. <laughs> <laughs> I called several times her number. She didn't answer the phone as well. Mr. McCormick, your, your version of that event? Basically, uh, me and her, we were business partners. There was never any romantic business. involvement. Okay. It was, and that's the truth. And she even knows that. There was never any romantic involvement. But basically, we were business partners. Uh, we made a couple errors, and some stuff got crossed up and twitched up. And it got resolved, you know. But Her car got burned <laughs> up. What do you mean? That's not a resolution. That's a felony. <laughs> <laughs> I feel 
maybe okay so did this really occur or is this somebody that's kind of like a little warm now because you this was shortly after we it's, moved in that, again that sounds like woman scorn stuff See? to me it does not sound like business right. deal gone bad. <laughs> did you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it does look odd and i know you you, you you're tiptoeing around that one and i'm not gonna make it make it uh, you know yeah. I, everybody got fifth amendment rights um why do you think she's so insistent on believing that you're doing the wrong thing? What, Cause, cause she has to be in control. She, she has a control issue. She wants to be in control. She wants to control me. That's not true. And Tell give me you, something this, that would, sh would they, show me that she's controlling. Because she's always telling me how to do my business. She Explain said, oh, that's, that. a, that's a bad idea. Like one time I was looking to make it a uh, business venture with one of my friends and she was like, no, you shouldn't do business with him. I don't, I don't like him. You know, you shouldn't do business. Oh, that's a. <laughs> but, you know, and I went ahead. I'm like, you know, I'm doing what's best for the business that I think. Because I've been doing imaging for 21 years. So I think I know a little A little something. bit about it. A little yeah. Bit. Do you dip in his business and try to direct him when he's obviously already doing okay? Your Honor, first off, it's our business, mm -hmm. not his business. The one he's speaking about. My name is on that paperwork, too. Right. So it's our business. Right. And so the person that he's talking about, he's speaking of, we had already discussed me, him, and actually another business partner of his and that per and his wife, we all agreed that this particular person um, is kind of not business savvy. Mm -hmm. But to go a step further, a couple of days ago, I found out when I hacked into his stuff, <laughs> he has opened up a couple of other businesses with this particular person, and I feel like that's completely disrespectful because anything you sign your name to affects our household. Right. Yeah. Ooh, Ms. Ms. Yeah. Mr. McCormick, you should have been an attorney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, did you start a couple businesses kind of on the side without letting her know? I did, I did, and then because I know how her attitude is, she would have just been irate, I probably would have got another bat upside my head, you know. No, don't use that, that was one time. <laughs> She wants a little piece of you, though. Okay. Do you know what I mean? We like money, but we like you people, too. <laughs> we really do. You get on our nerves some, but we like you. And we want to be around you. We want to touch you. We want to talk to you. I know we talk too much. We'll, we'll, we'll rein it in every once in a while. We want to hold you. Do, do you see that she's just not getting enough of that? Yeah, but we take trips. I, you know, I even no, when we don't. I got a babysitter, we, we take trips every once a month. Um, no, we go once to Miami. A month. No, we don't. Is he yes. taking you in no, somewhere once a month? No, what he does is he buy, he sends me on a trip with my sister. He doesn't uh, go. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't go. But while we're talking about the money aspect, he spends thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on whatever. He'll spend it on me too, but if I do it, we had an arrangement where anything that's spent over $100, we would discuss, discuss it amongst it, right. each other. He spends thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. The only way I find that out is when I'm going through the account and you see and I see it. But if I take that kind of money out of the account, it'd be a whole nother story. Oh my story. goodness. Yeah. If I could get you something from her that you want, what would it be? To be less less attitude, just more less calmer, calmer. I would say calmer. Less attitude. Now, 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 <laughs> Mrs. McCormick. Your Honor, I don't get no. Are, are, are you loud and poppy? I can be. <laughs> <laughs> I can be, but Your Honor, if I get no time, no attention, no sex. I'm irritable. What do you want me to do? If I got some regularly, that cuts half of the argument. I ain't gonna make you defend that, Mr. McCormick. <laughs> I just want to make sure you heard it. Did you hear what she said? I heard what she said, y'all. You want three thousand dollars because you say you're gonna leave him and start your own business. Tell me about that. He agreed to let me take over the management of one of the facilities. Right. Um, I went to the facility. I worked at the facility every day for almost two months. Mm -hmm. And then he cuts the contract with that facility. You didn't get paid? No. You didn't pay her. Oh, she got paid, so you never got paid. She got paid? No, I got paid in the, ex the gifts that he gives me. <laughs> but so, you didn't get paid for the work. Right. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Mr. McCormick.
It used to be a us thing. Now it's a you thing. And she's just a vague thing. And she's wondering if she'll be no thing soon. And she feels frightened. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Yes, ma'am, I understand. You know, I do business. My husband does business. But we always check our corners. Yo, this is what I'm doing. What you think? He, he has a different head than I do. What you think? This is what, well, hey, but maybe this, maybe that. She wants to be an equal partner with her. I think she's a bright young lady. I think that you can do that. And, and it's easier to do it on your own, but include her. Do you understand what I'm yes, saying? Yeah. I'm old school. <laughs> I was born in the 50s. My father did never came home. I'd go months not see him. Some men, some women have jobs that are just time consuming. This man is grinding. And I think you have to understand the nature of his grind. I think Mr. McCormick can make you more of a partner in his life as opposed to an asterisk in his day. What do you say? Mr. McCormick. Yes, Your Honor. You think you can do that? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah. And next time she says she wants to go somewhere, what you gonna do? I'm gonna take her. Exactly where she wanna go. Exactly where she wanna go. Is there anything else you want me to ask him for while I'm yelling at him? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it, Your Honor. <laughs> Good enough. There will be no recovery matter. Good luck to both of you. It is so ordered. So do you think Judge Lynn got through to him today? I sure hope so. What are you gonna do after you leave here? Oh, we'll try to make some changes and we'll see if we can get that, you know, attitude under control and my time together. I mean, you're gonna make her a little bit more of a priority? Yes. She loves you, right? Yes. She wants some more time? Yes, there's more time. <laughs> <laughs> Was anything left unsaid today or do you think Judge Lynn hit it on the head? I think she hit it on the head. Mm -hmm. Judge, this is the case of all eyes on me. Thank you, Nick. She says he's unkind and uncaring. He says she is simply confused. I'm gonna talk to them both and then figure out what I'm gonna say to the both of them. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Selena Frazier and Derek Thomas. The two of you have been together for three years, but you don't want to be together anymore. Ms. Frazier, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you're here today? And oh, by the way, Nick. Yes. She's suing for $140. $140. For the shoe she destroyed while she was tracking him through the mud <laughs> to a, in a dirty field to catch him at a party. I just want you to know what the stakes were before we got started. So, Ms. Frazier, why don't you tell me what's going on here? Well, Your Honor, he is a trip. He thinks that he's 21 years old. He, everything is always about him. It's never about me. It, I, I ask him all the time how beautiful I look. He always say, oh, you got a mirror. You go use it yourself. But he could tell everybody around him that he, they pretty. That they pretty, they're they gorgeous. They sexy, they, they everything. But me, I never get it. It's all through the texts and everything yeah. on his phone. To Mr. Thomas, him. she says that you're, you're kind and courteous and complimentary to other women, but not to her. Why don't you tell me your version of that? Well, you know, that's not true at all. I do tell her she's sexy, she's beautiful. Maybe not every day. But a lot of women I tell her that it's for a reason. She knows a reason. She just well, can't accept. Well, what is the reason? Well, a lot of women, she, what she just said at the first beginning is not true at all. A lot of women flirt with me. I don't really flirt with women. Uh -huh. So I'm going to give them what they want. Why? <laughs> because they're going to give them what I want. Well, what do you want from them? That's what I want to know. Anything they got to offer, as long as it's worth my time. Okay. I'm just so keeping right. it real. Hmm. Anything they have to offer financially? Financially. Sexually? Nah. <laughs> You're not gonna own that one. Nah, just financial. Oh, he don't financially. like doing that anyway, so that's probably true. Do women actually give you money? Yes. They do? Yes. What's the most you've ever gotten from a woman? Mm. At one time? 
$1,500. Wow. $1,500? Yes. What did you say to get that? Nothing. <laughs> I just be myself, do what they want me to do, I guess, in their mind, you know what I mean? Just well, what please kind of them in their own way. What things do they want you to do? Uh, I guess they think of me, I guess they think I'm going to be their man after it's all said oh, and done. Oh, so you kind of lead them along well, a little bit. Yeah. Maybe yeah, I yeah. can pull him, and she pulls out the money. And... Well, yes, but remember, now, I don't ask for that now. If they give it to me, I'm not going to say you keep it. Okay, so why do you always say that I'm the one? I got to be doing something if my friends give me a ride. When when my friend let me rent, or use they rent a car to go see my mom, you said I got to be doing something, but it's okay for you to be getting money and oh, stuff Oh, let from me somebody. tell you why he does it. He does it because he knows what he's doing. He, does, he, he questions any friendship or anybody who does anything to you because he knows that he's out there gaming women. That's why. Because he thinks the rest of the dudes are doing what you're doing. You know, what he's doing. That's what it is. Don't get, don't get confused by that. That's an easy one. <laughs> Mr. Thomas, what do you say is the problem in your relationship? Uh, well, I'll say lack of trust. Lack of trust. Lack of trust. No. Oh, you're the one that can't be trusted. You're the one that disappears every day. Can you tell me why you believe lack of trust is a problem in your relationship? <laughs> I already know, but I want to know what you think. Well, you know what? I, I would say this right here. Yeah, I understand maybe how she feels, but at the end of the day, I mean, it comes to my hand and goes straight to her hand. Mm -hmm. I think the problem with her is she don't just don't like me to be around other women mm -hmm. because she's a woman. Why she knows what they're I, And you got all that in well, your you phone. You know, but what you're saying stuff. is you game women, but you game women on both of your behalf. Yes, I do. Yes. And why do you got a woman picture with lingerie in your phone if you're not doing anything? Nobody's not gonna send you that if they just giving you money. Well, you know, like, well, you know, listen, like this, like it's like this. Women send me lingerie. Look, look, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Yes, women do send pictures of lingerie and whatever, but I mean, I guess that's how they so feel. So that means you must have slept with the lady for the lady. No, let me, let, let, let me nah. explain this to you. No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to just send you no naked picture. Uh, yeah, they do. You. That's, that's, that's okay. you. Yeah, they do. Well, I won't do it. Well, that's I, I, you. Okay, but... Yeah, you I ask people and send me, like, such... Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> you don't know them? Nothing. Oh, so you just... They just send them. I don't know what it is. I don't know the problem. I don't ah, understand it. I'm just ah, telling you. Ah, Maybe you can well, do see, that. I like that. But, it, I like you know, that. when it... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm glad, because you, you're on my side a little bit, because you can relate to that. That's what I'm saying. Like the shoes. Yeah, but you like it. I don't, I don't want it. See? <laughs> Bro, I got, I'm, I got, I'm, I got I look, no... I, I mean, got no... When they do that there, I'm, I'm expecting more Honor, than that. Like, like the shoes part. My shoes would have never got messed up. He's going to tell me, I'm going down here to visit the kids because the kids comes in and for town for Christmas. Here go him. He's at the park with a whole bunch of ladies. Well, you know, dropping it like it hot in front of the car. That's and, not, that's but not. But I'm not allowed to go anywhere with him. Well, she's no. leaving some of the, some of, some things out. You, no, let, let me I'm ask you. I'm going to go ask you one more you. thing. I'm and then, and then the car. I, I'm going to ask you one more thing. You... You said in your papers that you had to upgrade her. <laughs> yes, I did have to upgrade her because you know, when I met her, she dressed like maybe her aunt or somebody. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm, you old say that. I'm always grandma or. But you don't like weave. No man. And you don't like and you don't like. But he wigs. likes the weave. The weave for the women's like the girls. You want her hair to be natural. But it, but well, yes. I compliment them. But when see they one thing she's mistaken. Weave. I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to be with these women though. So I don't care how they look. They wear their the makeup. Uh -huh. I'm not I'm not waking up to them every morning either. So right. they can wear weave or. But be you want a natural hair. woman. Yes. That's you why I want her to be natural. Not because every that's why I want that you got on your phone. Every last one I'm pictures. Well, tell me about. There seems to be a problem in the bedroom. <laughs> I understand that you're not getting enough sex. So why don't you tell me what the issue is? Just what do you add to her life that is positive? A lot, because I motivate no, her. No, you don't. No, no, no. Tell me, tell me what it is. Tell me, just tell me what it is. There seems to be a problem in the bedroom. Oh, it is a big issue with that. He goes out and makes sure he hangs out all day long. So that way, when he comes in, he's like, oh, I'm tired. Or he'll sit there and go in the bathroom and talks on his phone. 
be on the chat line or something. A couple times I open up the bathroom door, he up there watching porns or whatever. And I'm like, what? I'm not happy enough for you. No, you don't, you don't move good enough. You move we, like we a white it's, person it's, in nah, the bed. That's, that's not true. So I'm dead and. Yeah, she just, she just, she just, she just oh, little born in bed. No shade, white folk. No shade. <laughs> yeah. She, she just um, little born in bed. That's it. She just little born in bed. I mean, she's like. You know, no disrespect, She's, but she just she moves like a white girl on the dance floor. You know, barely can move. You know what I mean? Oh, so I can that's dance, the boring sweetie. part. Uh, my, everybody that well, I he's have not been with never about had dancing. a problem with me. You got dance in the bed though, not dance on the dance floor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, I do, and I don't have no trouble at all. Well, with yeah. all this, I know, baby, I got it. Miss Frazier, I understand you have somebody you want me to listen to. Your sister's here on tape. Let's take a look at that. Hello, Your Honor. It's just ridiculous. I don't know why she's staying with him. She can't eat. She can't sleep. She really can't breathe. Just got to stop today because my sister needs her life back. What do you have to say about that? I think she's just looking from the uh, outside in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And she didn't really know the whole story. I mean, I, I mean, that's her sister. I mean, uh, what can I say? Uh -huh, I mean, uh -huh. but her sister just... What do you add to her life that is positive? A lot, because I motivate no, her. No, you but, don't. No, 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 tell me, tell me what it is. Tell me, just tell me what it is. Whereas in further her education to do better what she wants to do in life. You, you motivate her yes. to further no, her education. No, he don't. He throws it in my face. I'm going to get to you. I yes, really yeah. am. You motivate her to further her education. What else do you add to her? Well, I just want, when, I, when I talk to her, I just want to be happy, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she knows what goes on with me when she met me. I mean, I'm not trying to make her feel no, less... No, I didn't. I don't stop. Care about uh, don't stop. I believe she did at, at the Are job. Are you working? Yes. Do you contribute financially to the household? Yes, yes. Does he contribute financially to the household? Yes, he's good with that. He just can't stop cheating and being in women's faces yeah. and going out places all the time. So that's a lot of what's holding you back, right? Yes. Economically... It's, be it's easier to have him there. Is that right? Yes. I think women and men need to admit that more often than they do. You know what I mean? They do all these reasons I stay away from you. Yeah, but, but the money will get crunchy if he goes. Right. What do you want from me? We need to go to a counselor because at the end of the day, you don't want to stop cheating. You don't listen to me at all. My phone rings, it's a problem. I can't even talk to the ex-in-laws, the aunties or anything. Once it's the list over, it's supposed to be over uh, with. Uh, are you, do you have her on lockdown? Do you, do you control who she can talk to? What well, well, the problem started with when her ex tries to you know, talk bad about me and then try to control the house that I pay bills at. So I have a problem with that issue. It's because she seems to listen to true. them more than me. That's not true. Are you nice to her? No, he's not. Never. Oh, nice no, to are her. you nice to her? No, he's are not. Really he, nice is she to happy to see every you? Every relationship he's been in, they go to college, they got something in life. I have five baby mothers, and they're all college graduates. So I always told her, you know, I want you to go to college, you know, and, and, and go the highest you can go. I went to college and I did try. And well, then you got five babies' mothers. Do, do you pay child support for all of them? No, I always took care of my kids. They've been on child support. And uh -huh. that's another thing no, but, but, my face well, do all you, the time. But you pay, you're economically involved and, and personally Always. involved in all, all kids you should not deal with your dad, knows that. Dad, Always. baby dads because they because don't they do are. anything but my kids' mothers, because they I do are. everything okay. for them. I get them four and five hundred dollars. That's nothing to throw Because they are about. deadbeats. That's not nice. No, I'm not a deadbeat. Do you they do not, that? They're not that's, deadbeats That's not, that's not being mean. That's, you that's don't, being you truthful. Like, you don't want to hear... No, that's being mean. That's being mean. I know what's happening. I know exactly what's happening here. So you have to dictate to her that she's less than, not as good at as every opportunity that you get because it keeps her there. Don't tell me you don't because I know you do. Madam Frazier, let me say this to you. You don't think she's going to leave, do you? Uh, no. I think she may want to leave. But, I am uh, gonna leave because enough is enough. Well, we, well, my hair is kind of gray, and I, at my age, I should not have no gray hair. But you don't have any children with him. No. Let me tell you something. No woman with degrees got kids with him. You don't. That makes you smarter. <laughs> I'm happy to be there. I am beautiful. Uh, that's the smartest thing you ever me, did is not do that. And I know I am. You know, I, I tell she's beautiful. No, I you mean, don't. I, I mean, I maybe, maybe not enough. 
Maybe not enough. I think she just act like she's in competition with people and she's not. Oh, you make sure I'm in competition. Cause you make sure you bring up everything, what they drive. Let me tell what you what's happening here. Not- First, I'm gonna talk to him. I don't want you to say nothing to me. And I'm gonna talk to you. I don't want you to say anything to me. You have got a good thing. You got a, you got a, you got a woman at the house. She does what women at the house are supposed to do. You run around, you do whatever you want to do. You believe you have the complete right to do so. You have been, you have acted unimpeded throughout your entire life with respect to women. You go hither and yon from chick to chick, to woman to woman, and you do as you please, and you, do, you don't commit to them, you don't stay, and the environment has allowed you to get away with it. Now you got her, and it's nice having a woman at the house, because we do stuff for you. We, we, we make sure it's okay for you. Right. It's nice to keep it clean and keep the food and all that kind of stuff. So you keep it there. And in order to make sure she stays, what you do is you make sure she continues to feel small. If she felt beautiful, if she felt worthwhile, if she talked to people other than you, like her in-laws or her exes or whatever like that, she might begin to think that she was somebody. She might have somebody in her head other than you that tells her that she's a fabulous person and don't need you. But since you got her installed in your life and are doing her wrong and want to continue to do that, you have to control all the information that goes to her. You have to control what happens to her. You have to control how she feels about herself. So you have to dictate to her that she's less than, not as good at as every opportunity that you get because it keeps her there because she doesn't think she can do any better. Don't tell me you don't because I know you do. Madam Frazier, let me say this to you. (laughs) I want you to invest in the mother of your children. I want you to make sure your two daughters know what it is to be independent, to be strong, to, be, to have self-esteem, and to care for who they are on their own. I want you to go home. I want you to find whatever it is you need to do in order to make enough income to make him optional. And then, once he becomes optional, you begin to dictate terms about what you do want and what you don't want, because this is not what you want for your daughters, and your daughters never do what you tell them to do. They do what they see you doing. You don't want this. You're half broken right now, and he don't even care. Never wow. did. He That's never did ne- care. Daddy he never, never cares. ease and care. He never cares. I be in the living room crying at night, and he just be in the room asleep. Like, but I I'm get up saying this is like your morning. life to take back. This is your opportunity to be someone who you want to be. Don't listen to what he says to you. You go home, decide what you want to do, where you want to be, what you need to do to have enough money to be comfortable and to take care of your children. And all of the while, continue to maintain contact. If you want to go into counseling, go into counseling personally. You don't need to be in it with him. You know, because people, if you want to go into group counseling or couples counseling, both people have to be in it to win it. He's not. No, he he's don't. in it to keep you down. Right. And I'm saying, get up. Just get up. <laughs> Mr. Thomas, I hope you prove me wrong. I, I don't think wrong. you will. I don't. I don't think he's never going to change. Because he's, 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 he's been, been like at it too day long. One and it's still just going to keep constantly. You've broken her. Like You've broken her. That just and let me say this to you. You continue to defend yourself against the wrongs he contends you're doing. And I'm telling you, you ain't got to defend yourself. You ain't got to explain yourself. You don't have to. You don't. He's, he's breaking your spirit purposefully. He's doing it to keep you down, to keep you there. And I'm telling you that you need to go into counseling for yourself. And you're going to pay for it, aren't you, my brother? (laughs) 
Because you care about who she is. Because you care, because you're going to prove me wrong. He oh, yeah, you're going to prove me wrong with your wallet you. and allow her to get counseling. I would, no, I would be you pay for it. Counseling can't help me because they don't live in our house. See, so. you're explaining it again. You don't owe me an explanation. You don't know him an explanation. You don't know anybody an explanation. Right. He says bad things because he's doing bad things to you. Right. It has nothing to do with you. I tell you, you're a strong woman. You're an intelligent woman. You need counseling to get your self-esteem, to get where your IQ is, and then you keep it moving. Do you understand what I'm telling yes, you? Yes, ma'am. Don't ever repeat nothing he says to you no more because it, it's irrelevant. But, but wait, wait a minute, Aunt. It's irrelevant. Yeah, Aunt, that, that's not, We are that's going not true. to make him optional from the, today forward. <laughs> Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's, that's not true at all. What you say? That's not true at all, though. Yeah. I, oh, yeah, it is. No, it's not. Been out there forever. That's not. I know what. I know what's true. That's not true. Right. I think you're fabulous, and I know more than he does. Yes, I am. I, am I think she's fabulous. I can't give you $140 for boots for trailing around a fold. Just can't do it. But I wish you the best. Yes, ma'am. And he should, he should pay for counseling. Prove me wrong. Show me the receipt. I'll prove you wrong. This matter is adjourned. Judge, today we have the case of Pour Up Drank. Thank you very much. Today I have a couple here. They've been together for three years. All I can figure out from what I have is that he's annoying and she's drunk. We're gonna have to decide who's to blame. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Quay Benjamin and Floyd Stevens. Ms. Benjamin and Mr. Stevens, you have been together for three years. You do not wish to be together anymore. Ms. Benjamin, you are suing Mr. Stevens for the value of clothing you say he destroyed. Ms. Benjamin, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about this matter and why we're here today? Judge, let me tell you, Floyd has turned me into an alcoholic. <laughs> Every day. When I get off of work, I have to stop by the liquor store and buy me a couple of shots, oh, sit in the driveway at my, oh, at my own house, uh, because God knows what I'm walking into uh, when I go in the house. He's very jealous. He's very jealous, and I'll also explain to well, you I'm why. For example, I'm sleeping in bed, so right. like 4 or 5 in the morning. Oh, he's going through stop. my phone. He's going through my phone. He sees messages between me and my friend that I've been knowing since middle school. And it's a girl, and he's now accusing me of being in a lesbian relationship, and she's married and has kids. Ms. Mr. Stevens, do you believe that she's seeing this, this woman who's married with kids? Uh, she, for one, she, she got one thing right. She, she, she's an alcoholic. Okay, she, she, she got that she, part yeah, right. because of she, you. She, because of you. Anyway, she, she's an alcoholic. She, she, she lies about her whereabouts. She, she goes out, she go missing for uh, numerous hours, don't, you know, just don't never, don't, she, she never has a reasonable excuse for wherever she's at. Your uh, Honor, let me ask you this. Do you believe she's cheating on you? Yes, ma'am. Give me the one story that would convince me that she's stepping out. Well, I just recently found out she, she got a guy she's been talking to for like the last 13 years, right? I've been dealing with you the last three. So, you, you know. Well, I know guys that I've talked to for decades. I'm not having an illicit affair. Hey, I just have I conversations. Never, I never knew nothing. But I've been dealing hey, with man. you the last three years. I, I, see what I'm saying? Let's talk Jill. about him having two women before we got together. While we were together, he had two girlfriends, and I never knew anything about it until a couple of months later down the line. They was coming to the house. He would spend hours in the front yard fighting with these women. I had no idea. Oh, he's a smooth operator, Your <laughs> Honor. <laughs> Let's talk Mr. about that. Mr. Stevens, what about those women? Did, is she accurate that you were seeing two other women while you were seeing her in the beginning? Oh, yeah. That's a yes. <laughs> um, at, what, at, at what point did you put a period on that? 
She let me know. Once she let me know she was serious, you know, I, you know, I kind of. Oh, did so it, it was in the beginning, and you were kind of I mean, dibbling and dabbling, and <laughs> and then one woman kind of rose to the top, cream of the crop, and you let the rest of them go. Is that is that the? I'm trying to help you out here, Mr. Stevie. It's almost there. It's semi. That's semi. Some, something like that. Something, something like that. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Why didn't you bounce if you were so you found this difficult? You know, if I was dating a guy, thought I was exclusive, and I found out he added two other women, he because, would never see me again. Because he's so smooth. He's a smooth uh, operator. Ain't that the smooth in the world? Uh. He gave me all the excuses in the world. Baby, I love you. We live together. I, I Things like that. He's so jealous. <laughs> I have not... I don't know when the last time I spent a holiday with my own family, okay? I have to always be with his family on <laughs> Christmas, Thanksgiving, <laughs> Fourth of Mr. July, Stevens, Mr. Stevens, takes. do you refuse to allow her to visit her family on holidays? That, that is a lie. That, her mama don't like you. Stop. Her mama don't like you. Why doesn't her mother like you? <laughs> I, I, but see, look, that's the thing. Because what? she's hey. a bad, independent woman. And she don't need no man. And she Your know mama? how to. Yeah, my Your mama. mama. Yeah, hey, my hey, mama. hey, 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 hey. Yeah, my mom. You mad, huh? My mom <laughs> is, is, is a bad, beautiful woman. And she raised three kids, okay? She's very strongly independent. And guess what? She is here today. Let's see Mrs. Benjamin. <laughs> oh, Lord. I have crossed the lady. Oh, Floyd, you know you're not good enough for my daughter, okay? Oh, now, Mrs. Benjamin, over there, over she there, Mrs. Better. Benjamin, she's gonna Mrs. Get Benjamin. Now, <laughs> pull yourself together. Okay. Why don't you like Mr. Steven? This man is nothing but a user, a leech. He has stood up and mm. threw my daughter's cell phone against the wall and broke it. You didn't even pay for it, Mama, okay? Oh, so you, you do. If you're paying well, for Mr. something, Steven, Mr. then you Stevens. can do something. You need to be quiet, Mr. Stevens. Ms. Ms. Benjamin, speak to me. Okay. So he's broken her cell phone. He's, he's cut up leech. her clothes. Cut I, up her clothes. I actually have my clothes she's, here today that, he's, that he ran. And tell me what other things he's done that you found so distressing. He, he's sneaky. He sits up and talks to other females on the phone while she's working all day. She's a paralegal, Why you okay? Because know I know I can look straight through you. That's how I know. <laughs> Mr. Stevens, baby, I'm a no I'm a diva, and I've been I've been know I know how men get down, okay? So don't you think you slick? Then he says something. Want to, oh, I want you to gain some weight. I want you to get some butt, baby. You and go and buy her big pizza. I have to be out and about looking good, okay? And Ooh. he wants me to. He, this man orders big pizza, wings, burgers, fries, everything. And then after we eat, he's like, "Baby, lay down. You don't need to wear, wear your waist trainer. All this stuff, like." Okay. Hang on, hang on, hey, he tells me he wants my butt. Madam's to get Benjamin. It's already hush. <laughs> Madam's Benjamin, hush. Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Stevens. How you doing? Do you, are you encouraging her to be plumping? Semi, semi. Semi. He wants her what? plump like him, okay? Look at him, look at him. And look at her. You could do way better. You do not need nobody. I came out here to find her a rich man, okay? <laughs> and I'm gonna make sure I get him. I'm, I might get I'm kept. Do I have any takers? Mama, she got, but look, but look at the girl. Rich man, right here, right here, right here. Look at this rich man out here. Mrs. Mrs. Benjamin, Mrs. you can leave uh. too. Go, go on, you out. I gotta go. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> you better still with my daughter. I can't. There's no talking to him. There's she no talking to, to you. No, there is talking to me. No, I'm telling you, there's no talking to you. I haven't been able to finish a sentence yet, and I, and I run this place. Stevens, why don't you tell me what is your main complaint about Miss Benjamin? My main thing is this guy for 13 years, though. Because, I, I mean, this, this is my thing. I've been dealing with you three years. You never mentioned this dude. You never said nothing about him or no nothing. I'm pretty sure this guy know who I am. So it's like I'm in a blind, basically. Right. I'm in a situation where this guy could, he could be sitting out here. I don't, I don't know who he is. Okay. <laughs> right, I'm, right. I'm just, I got you. I got I'm you. I'm just saying. Yeah, Miss me. Ms. Benjamin? <laughs> Miss Benjamin? I can explain that. Could you? Yes, ma'am. So, 
I've been knowing my friend, my dear friend, for, yes, 13 years plus, okay? I wouldn't have to been hanging out with him if he didn't drive me to do so. My, I've never slept with him. My friend, yes, he takes me out to lunch, we do brunch, I go to his house, sleep on his couch. I don't even want to be at home with him sometimes. It's stressful. Let me ask you this, Ms. Benjamin. If he was behaving in the same manner you are with this dude, with some other woman, would you find that distressing? I don't sleep with him. I'm I didn't, I didn't ask you that. No, I asked I you if he was doing exactly what you were doing with another woman, would you be mad? Be real. He can have friends. I'm saying, you ain't saying, so that's saying, a yes. But and she, you know but, you're wrong, but, but, right? But if you're she, living she, she together, if you're committed not, to a guy, why are you sleeping on somebody I else's couch? To him. I can't. There's no talking to him. There's he no talking to, to you. Talk. No, there is talking to me. No. I'm telling you, there's no talking to you. I haven't been able to finish a sentence yet, and I, and I run this place. <laughs> you see what mom is, huh? How much do you drink, Ms. Benjamin? How much you drink, Quay? Thanks to you, um, <laughs> I'll say four to five glasses a day. I don't of, think that's too bad. Of? Of wine, of gin and juice. Gin and juice. Whatever I can get my hands Whatever on. Whatever you get your hands on. Do you want this relationship to end, Mr. Mr. Stevens? Uh, I mean... <laughs> that's a no. <laughs> that is a no. <laughs> You love her, right? Oh. <laughs> and this is why we have this ongoing toxic relationship. If I could give you one thing that I could wave my magic gavel and make Mr. Stevens do or stop doing, what would it be? Insecure. Insecurities. So you would like him to be less controlling? Yeah. Now, that relationship is weird. All right. And it's not right. And if you're in a committed relationship with another dude living in his house or living in a house together, you shouldn't be sleeping on a couch with another dude. That will make him insecure. And he shouldn't have ripped my T-shirt of my best no. friend. See, let's, no, let's, no, let's no, stay no. on she, one topic at yeah, a time. Yeah, you know, hey, 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 hey. The problem with most couples is they don't know how to stay on the topic. The minute they get caught in a corner of something that they've done wrong, they move to another corner. I'm asking you to stay in the corner you've been caught in so we might be able to change your behavior or put, get you in a situation that you want, which is one in which he's less controlling. If you are less foolish with your relationships with other men, he would be less controlling if he's not crazy. I talk to him on the phone when so, I'm hanging out with my guy friends. I he, gotta... I, he, so, look. Your guy friends? Look, look, are you calling your woman out a name? Look, we was all... Me and her were arguing. We wasn't, wasn't no friend. I, I, I wouldn't do my lady. Especially, especially for no other dude. Look, like, come on. But you would call her a no, Like I say, but no, we was in the heat. <laughs> <laughs>some dude she been talking to or whatever, the dude, he ended up approaching me, so he like, man, the dude, he told me, Joe, like, man, ain't you Quayle boyfriend? I'm like, oh, don't you, don't you mean I'm Quayle boyfriend or whatever? So, you know, it went from there. We, we had a light tussle. It wasn't a fight, it was just a light tussle. A light tussle. <laughs> yeah, it was just a, a light tussle. Down. It was nothing but a light tussle. So, so I ended up losing my phone or whatever. I get home, I tell this fool, so I get home, I tell her, so get, she drunk, as usual. This girl ended up calling the police on me. Not, not to be, they didn't do, it, it was no situation. They didn't do me nothing or no, nothing like that, but it's just a simple fact. I'm black in America right now. At this day and age, why, I'm saying, why would you call the police? This is like, it's like you lying. Why, why would you do that? Did you call the police on That's a yes. <laughs> why did you, why did, you know, I, I know what the answer is. Why don't you just say it? My mom called the police. Yo, mama? Yeah. You know I'm saying, so your mom, so hold on, hold on. Hold on. So your, your, your mom was at my house. Because I let my mom know the drama that's going on. Yes. Your mom was so at my house. when she knows the drama and it's pretty intense, she call, she's, yeah, she did call the police. Were your you, mom were was you at concerned my house. for your safety? No, but he threw all of my stuff out. No, but he threw, Judge, this man has called me a bitch, okay, because I didn't want to go hang out with him and his friends. He called me a bitch in front of his friends. And she I'm not, stop. And, she, and stop. come on, like, really? Stop. I don't want to go hang out with you and your friends, and I'm a bitch. But I live with you. I come home to you. I call you. Are you calling your woman out a name? Look, 
We was all, me and her were arguing. Wouldn't, we wasn't no friend. I, I, I wouldn't do my lady, especially, especially for no other dude. No, like, come on. But you would call her a bitch in no, private. Like I say, but no, we was in the heat. We was in the heat. We was in the heat of the argument. You know, she said she say some stuff too. You, you, but saying, I don't call you a bitch. I'm saying, hold on, but you, you call me fit. You said I'm fit. But I don't call you a bitch. I was hurt. <laughs> I was hurt. <laughs> You say that underneath all of it, Ms. Benjamin, that you believe that you moved in with Mr. Stevens too early. Is that true? Yes. Explain to me what happened and why you think it was a mistake. Well, yeah, because in the early stages of us dating, there's a knock on the door. I didn't know nothing. You know, when you're in a new relationship, you're going to just be cute on the couch. You're mm -hmm. not going to go see what your man is doing out in the front. You're going to mind your business, right? So I did that. The whole time, he's fighting with the girl. And she's like, oh, I know that bitch is in there. Tell her to come outside. I want to fight her. I'm saying, you doing all I that? I didn't know I, I any let her of that. I, I could have let her come in there. Was, I'm saying, that, hold on. She shouldn't have been there. I saved her from you. What is you talking about? You see what you I'm talking about? You know what that yeah. is. Well, 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 let me ask you this. He didn't let her in. I mean, he couldn't stop her from coming, but he stopped him from coming in the house. How did he not do the right thing there? How did he not do the right thing? Yeah. Um, tell me that you got two women in the beginning of the relationship. Man, you got a whole dude from 13 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I did not do anything oh, with him. I didn't do anything with him. Are you mad because of that? So tell me about this $200 that you want from Mr. Stevens as you leave him I'm saying, but how are you gonna in the dust. Miss, Miss, hey, 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 <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Judge Toller, listen, please, okay? My belongings is right over there that he ripped up because I did not Judge, come home. Let, let me Judge, see what happened. Judge, I got proof. I got Judge proof. Judge Toller, I let her finish, then I'll let you talk. What? Judge Toller, so the shirt, I couldn't even find the T-shirt that I really wanted to bring, but that was me and my best friend that we purchased together, and she's no longer here with me. Mm -hmm. He ripped that shirt. Okay, and I, you know it's just she's she's not here anymore. It's like you're gonna be that I, did jealous. You, did you and go insecure? around ripping up her clothes? She's like she must have ripped it. She definitely. Ripped. I got a video. I got Why would a video I lie showing. about ripped what, clothes from my I, best uh, friend that knows I am that talking to Mr. Stevens. I got a video showing showing me fold her clothes up. Let me see. <laughs> like, well, so. A video folding clothes. Right there, now, right what there. is this supposed to tell me? I'm just saying, because you know, because this is not my... If, if, look, in the she, she put it up. In the them clothes, she put it up. That's her clothes. So you're you're showing me that you treat her clothes with respect. <laughs> I like, he set, he set the camera up. He set the camera up there. Was, we, and so you would clearly not do this. <laughs> On the bottom, Judge Teller. Nah, nah. This man nah. ripped... My shirt that my best friend gave me, and she's no longer here. You think I'm gonna make Are that up? Are you claiming you didn't do this? I did just. Hey, she Get was a drunk. security guard right now, because right. seriously. Hey, 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 But don't, don't play no, with me like that. No, we're not even doing that. We're well, not even doing that. We're not even doing that. Hey, 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 hey. Y'all leaving one another. That's a wonderful thing. I was for a moment going to try to see if I could broker some kind of deal so you could be together and love one another and kind of work it out. Because I believe that there's nothing in this relationship that can't be fixed. Y'all love each other. Uh, you, you, know, you just don't know how to be grown. You don't know how to, you, you don't know how to have a conversation. You don't know what's appropriate and inappropriate with respect to other people. When you're with somebody, you have to respect boundaries. You have to respect that even though you're not currently having sex with some other guy, you have to be respectful about what you do with other people to allow him to live in comfort and also not do things with another dude that you would find distressing if he did with another woman. You got to be grown about those kind of things. You have to be grown in order to be in a relationship. That's what I have to say about that. This is what I have have to say about the other thing. I don't know what you were doing floating up them clothes. <laughs> I don't know why you got the camera out to show that to me. I'm confused That's about it. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I am confused about it completely. I, I, had to pick I think myself. you're full of it, Mrs. <laughs> Benjamin. I had to pick myself. <laughs> this to me does not look like angry man work. <laughs> this looks to me like now I've had women come in here. 
and just cut off one shoulder of every one of his shirts. You know, because in this slow, manipulative calculus, I'm going to have his whole shirt walk, work, but just the left shoulder. Dudes, when they tab something, they just mad and tear it up. Well, These are deliberate. Yeah, be yeah because Because you're just, faking it, and you wanted to get $200 from me that you don't deserve. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so weird. I think there's any hope you guys can get back together? I can't take it. The jealousy, I mean, I have to drink before I even go hang out with him, right. be with him. It's pretty much over, because I mean, you got somebody for 13 years. You don't know, I've been dealing with you the last three, you never said nothing about it. I don't, I'm kind of, kind of through with it.